Okay, great. So now we want to do a hypothesis test. Let's uh, f let's go back to StatCrunch and pull up our um, hypothesis test for t stats. We're going to do one sample with summary data. So I'm told I have a null hypothesis mu equals 100, alternative mu not equal to 100. Let's put that in right now. Mu equals 100 is my null, mu not equal to 100 for my alternative. My sample mean is given here, let's see, um, 105.3, 105.3, my sample standard deviation 8.9, and my sample size is up here 20. So put that in, click compute. This is going to give me um, my output. This gives me the T statistic and the P value. So you can do it using, you can make your conclusion by the classical or the P value approach. Uh, it's asking for the T statistic. Let's bring it in with three decimal places, 2.663. Uh, and now let's see, what would a critical value be with a, a level alpha level of 0 0.01? Remember what we just did? Uh, we want to do uh, find the cutoffs for a sample size of 20, as in this problem. We would have 19 degrees of freedom. We're going to have um, at alpha level of 0 0.01, that means we're going to have a probability of 0.99 in between. Click compute and we're going to get cutoffs that leave 1% split between the two tails, 2.86. So this is asking for the two critical values. I'm going to put them in negative 2.80, let's see, um, 8.61 and positive 2.861. And uh, what does this picture look like? Now remember this, this what, I, what, I, what the picture I got over here is the critical region is is the white part, not the red part. So what I want is this. This is what a two-tailed uh, critical region looks like. Uh, so we want to compare now. What if my test statistic was 2.663. Uh, is that would that be out in the tails? No, it would not. This is between those two cutoffs. It would be in the red on this graph over here, uh, which is the do not reject region. So there is not sufficient evidence to reject the null since the test statistic is between the critical values. There we go.